Hello everyone, welcome to Pouring My Art Out. Now, I am finally getting to the little reindeer. I know a lot of you have been wanting to see him, he's so cute. Well, I finally decided what I was going to do with him. We are going to make him white and sparkly to begin with. And then, um, then we're going to embellish him and make him or her adorable, whatever it decides to be. All right, so I am going to start by pouring some of this beautiful, it's called diamond glitter in here. And probably quite a bit. Come on out. Don't be shy. All right. There we go. We see how that looks. Very sparkly. That's how that looks. See that? Very pretty. Yeah, that's very pretty. You know, maybe a little more. Won't hurt. Okay. And now, I know you see the Elmer's glue there. Now, we are going to just put one drop see how that goes because this is um, a little bit heavier glitter than um, my shimmer so I'm afraid it will drop if I don't put the Elmer's glue in there and immediately slimy yep see <laughs> lovely it's so nice. Okay. And I'm not going to spray in him because at the very tips of his antlers, I, I do have some brown mica powder. That's all I could get in there was the very tippies. So we're going to pour a little bit and then we're going to squeeze to make sure this gets into his ears and antlers. Or her. I don't know yet what she what it is. Okay. So we're gonna squeeze the heckins out of that. Make sure there's no bubbles caught. We don't want any antlers breaking off or ears. You can see where I'm squeezing. Make sure that gets all the way in there. And there is a bubble right there. Okay. Get out. Get out. Get out. Yeah, this one has bubbles in it. There, I think that's good. Gosh, I hope so. All right, let's fill it up the rest of the way. It's a pretty easy little mold, and it's so cute. I'm going to stop there and do its little arms and hands. Nosy. Okay. I'll just top it off.
think I did um, just about two ounces. I have a little bit left. Let me see. Yeah, I've got a little left. Um, hmm. I've been doing some puppy paws for keychains for my upcoming festival. Let's do one more. At least start one. It's not going to fill it up. Well, it's going to fill it up as much as the other ones, so that's good. Because I don't like them. They're very thick. This is actually a chocolate mold. But I use it for keychains. Everyone loves these puppy paws. All right. As always, guys, thank you so much for checking me out. I appreciate it. And we will have two demoldings. We will demold the puppy paws. And we will also demold the sparkly reindeer. All right. I'll see you all soon. Bye. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Pouring My Art Out. This little guy is ready for demolding. So let's just get at it. Let's see how easy he is to demold. And I'm really hoping there are no bubbles. Oh, well, look at his little tail. That's so cute. Okay. All right. Yes, that's a big head he's got. So we may have to spray. I believe we have to. in there Ugh. oh these little whole things that have the little holes are so difficult to demold without Having to use your chest. Sorry about that, guys. Wow. Ugh. <laughs> That's a big head. We're getting it, though. He's coming. Wow. Okay. Can I get him demolded? Hmm. There we go. I think. I see his little nosy and his half his eyeballs. They look cute. Okay. And his ear looks good. His other ear looks good. And his antlers look good. No bubbles, you guys. No bubbles. I'm so happy about that. I mean, nowhere. That's so fabulous. Okay, let me get it turned 
back the right side. Phew, this is a tough one. All right, I do have some trimming to do on the bottom. Not a big deal. Look at his little tail. How cute is that? His little arms. He's got cute eyes and he's got dots on his head. All right. And his little feet. Okay. Let's get these demolded. These are my puppy feet. These should all look the same. These are great keychains or magnets. Either one. You can do them for both. All right, this one is just a sparkly. And I will probably outline his paws in black. Now I'm going to backfill these, but I, I didn't want to do it in here because the same thing would happen. Um, it has nice lips, so it's going to be easy. And there you have it. Wouldn't that be a cute keychain? And it's orange glitter. So, for UT Country, these are perfect. And all three of them are the same. Oh, today was Sparkle Day, I guess. <laughs> right, I will work on those later tonight. All right, but for right now, I want to start on him while you're on here with me. And we are going to... Do his lips. He's oh, it's so hard to see too. Oh, there's a bubble right there on his lip. So he's got kind of a scraggle, a scraggle smile. I may have to make that thicker so you can't really tell that there was a bubble there. Okay, and then I'm also going to do his nose black, but I'm going to get my fatter marker. Where'd you go? There you are. And we're just going to, okay, so like I said, the bubbles are very hard to see with the glitter, but there are some. And we can fill those in. I mean, I will clean him up. I'm just trying to do some of this while I have you on here because normally I do it off camera. And that his mouth looks really messy, but I will clean it up. And white. I want to do a dot on his nose because he's got a shiny nose. Okay. I'm going to color his eyes in white right now.
Alright, and I need to let that dry because that was fairly liquid. Not sure why. I think I maybe need to pull that out some. Okay, so we need to let him sit so his eyes don't run. Hello, everyone. It became a she. Look how adorable. So cute. I love her eyes. Put pink in her ears. Little flower right here. Can you see it? Did her toenails. Cute little smile, little shiny nose, and a white tail. How cute is she? So there is your reindeer, those that have been waiting a while. There she is. I'll see you soon.